Donald Trump says he wants to face Kamala Harris in three debates in September. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video, and today we have to talk about the 2024 presidential election because Donald Trump has just flipped the script on Kamala Harris because during a press conference today, Trump announced he accepted not just one debate proposal, not just two, but three debates in September. Yes, that's right. That's not a misquote. Trump wants to debate Kamala Harris at least three times in the month of September. Remember how just, just a week ago, no, just a couple days ago, the Harris campaign was claiming Trump is running scared of Harris because he doesn't want to debate her and, and crap like that. Remember that? Well, now Trump announced, you know what? Fine. You, you want to debate on ABC News? Okay, let's do three debates. One on ABC News, one on Fox News, one on NBC News. Yeah. He announced all of this on top of doing it, a one-hour press conference at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, he, he stood there for an hour taking questions from the media about some crap like, are you scared of Harris's crowd sizes? And gave some really good answers. But the point is, Trump had a very good press conference on top of the fact that he announced this bombshell which completely flips the script on the debates. Because the Harris campaign, they were going to bank on the idea of, see, Trump doesn't want to debate Harris because he refuses to go on ABC News. But th that's what their campaign strategy was. But now, Trump is saying, nope, we're going to have three debates. And as of now, Harris's campaign agreed to one of them. That's ABC News. That's on September 10th, I believe. The other two, though, she hasn't accepted either of them. And I really believe there's a good possibility she will not accept the Fox News debate. Which, think about that for a minute. Just a week ago, every Democrat on Twitter was claiming Trump is scared to debate Harris. That's why he's running to Fox News. Well, what's their excuse now? Trump is not just offering a debate on Fox News. He is willing to debate on NBC News, ABC News. Hell, I think the vice presidential debate is going to be on CBS. Those are not conservative networks. What's their excuse now? Well, actually, they already have an excuse. They're saying Trump has bad polling. That's why he's accepting three debates. Really? So a week ago, he was scared to debate. But now, now that Trump said, you know what? Let's have three debates. These same people are now saying he is having bad polling. That's why he wants to debate Harris three times. No, he wants to debate Harris three times to force her to actually do stuff, to do public events, not just scripted BS at rallies where she just reads a teleprompter for 15 minutes and leaves. A debate's the best way to get Harris to make mistakes because she cannot have a teleprompter. That, that's what I'm trying to tell people. This is why it makes sense to have a bunch of debates. Because the more people hear Harris unscripted, the more they're going to hate her. They're going to realize, wait a minute. Th there's a reason we never liked her beforehand. She's unbearable. She's cringe. She doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. That's why I think it's incredibly smart. On top of the fact that two of the three debates are before early voting even begins. That's Fox News and ABC News. So, th that covers a lot of problems that I had with the original debate schedule. They were planning, you know, I think it was October 20th, September 30th. It's like, no. With early voting, you have to have a couple of debates beforehand. And that's what Trump just accepted. He said, we're going to have two debates before early voting even begins, and one more in late September. There's, there's a chance we could have even more. I think there should be. But... This was smart of Trump. And on top of that, he scheduled this perfectly. Because the order it's going in, Fox News is first. And there's a good chance Kamala Harris's campaign says no. Can you imagine Trump goes on the debate stage and there's an empty podium? And tens of millions of people will watch that. It's the first debate. 
She has to accept it. Can you imagine that? That there's an empty podium and Trump's debating no one? And that she refused to go after saying Trump is running scared of Fox News. But then within the next week, there's the ABC News debate. And Trump is going to it. He's going into hostile territory. That's a clear contrast between the tr two. Trump is willing to go on NBC News, ABC News. Hell, he went on CNN to debate Biden. He's going to debate Harris on the liberal networks. But Kamala Harris claims Trump is scared to debate her. So that's why he's running the Fox News. Really? That entire narrative is down the toilet after what Trump did here. Because people are going to think, wait, Harris refused to go to Fox News for a debate, but Trump is willing to debate on ABC News. And for those wondering, it sounds like they changed moderators because the original plan was it was going to be George Stephanopoulos, which we all know Trump does not like him, especially after he said, yeah, uh, Trump was convicted of rape. Remember? So he, he doesn't like um, Stephanopoulos. He's suing ABC News right now. That's why I think that he's going to go on ABC News because it's not going to be that bozo. So we just got to see who it is exactly. But I just like the fact Trump is now on the offensive. He's saying, okay, I'm supposedly scared of debate. Okay, let's have three debates in just a couple of weeks with two of them within a week of each other. And if I'm Trump, I propose even more debates. Like, okay, in October, let's do one on X. Let's do one on even Facebook or whatever. Let's keep doing a bunch of debates so people get to understand what each candidate stands for. Not just uh, Kamala Harris sits behind a teleprompter and calls it a day. I think that's what Trump should do. Call for even more debates. Call for town halls. Just keep adding more to the schedule and force Harris to not speak with a teleprompter. Force her to be unscripted. Because that's when people realize they don't like her. She's a fake. She's a phony. She's incompetent. She has no clue what the hell's going on. That's why this is smart. And again, the Fox News debate being first is the most important thing. Because Harris has no excuse now. She has to accept it. Because in a week after the Fox News debate, is the ABC News debate. And it's going to be fresh in people's minds that, wait, Harris refused to go on Fox News, but Trump, despite suing ABC News, is willing to debate Harris there. So what, why won't she go to AB, or Fox News, but she demands Trump comes ABC News? Hmm, who, who's really running scared in that situation? Makes you really think. Now, will this change the race that much? I highly doubt it, unless it's like, it's as big of a disaster as the Biden debate on CNN was. That's the only way this could change the race that much. Or, if Kamala Harris doesn't go to the Fox News debate, but goes to the ABC News one, that could have hurt her badly. Because like I said, people are going to see that. They're going to realize, wait, she's the one running scared of Trump, not the other way around. Why, why won't you go to Fox News to debate? If you're so confident, why do you got to run to ABC News, NBC News? I really don't know if she's going to pull up to the first one. I think for sure the second one's a guarantee on ABC News. NBC News, I think it's going to happen as well. Fox News is the only one I still have questions about. And as for the CBS News one, that's for the VP debate. I don't know when that's going to be. I think Vance is going to absolutely kill Walls, but... It's one of those things we just got to see. There's a good chance these theoretically don't happen and the Harris campaign says, no, we can't debate. But we can't do it because of scheduling or some bullshit like that. I guess it's possible, but you can't just ignore every single debate, especially when it's a close race. You just can't. It's not like with Trump being up by 30 points against DeSantis, Haley, and Scott in the primary. I mean, that's, that's why he didn't have to debate. He's up by 40 points. Congratulations. Instead of losing by 38, you lose by 37. So that's why those debates in the primary really didn't matter. But here, this is right before early voting. So everyone's going to know what does each candidate really stand for. 
What does Harris really stand for? Not just what her advisors say, not just what she says through a teleprompter. What does she say supposedly unscripted? Which, by the way, what did you want Harris to go to the debate? Because if she's such an intelligent woman that she could easily own Trump, what, why are you scared to debate on Fox News? Well, why, why are you saying that, oh, Trump's running scared to Fox News? It's like, wait, what? If you're supposedly this intelligent woman that, that could own Trump, wouldn't you want to go to as many debates as possible? Wouldn't you want 50 debates, a bunch of town halls, a bunch of interviews? Because your biggest problem with Harris is a bunch of people think she's a fake. She's a phony. She's incompetent. You, you want her unscripted. If you're the campaign, so, wouldn't you want that? Wouldn't you want her to prove to the world that she's perfectly fine? I believe they're scared of a repeat of the CNN debate where Biden did way worse than even I thought was possible. He was incompetent. He doesn't know what's going on. He, he just doesn't know what's happening. That's why I believe that they're scared of these debates. They only want ABC News to have their debate. Their plan was to probably have George Stephanopoulos moderate it. But now, he's probably not. It's one of those things where it's not a good look for the Harris campaign. If you accept the debates, they probably don't go well. If you deny the debate proposals, it makes you look like a coward. It proves what people thought about you. You're scared. You're incompetent. You can't debate. You need to be scripted. I really don't know what the Harris campaign does here. We're for sure having one debate. I should be clear about that. It's for sure the ABC News debate. But the NBC News debate, and especially the Fox News one, they're up in the air. We won't know until probably in like two to three weeks. I hope Harris accepts all of them. I, it, it's be comedy gold to see Trump expose her. But people deserve to know what you stand for. Not just reading off a teleprompter. What do you really have to say on a debate stage while talking to your opponent? It just seems like common sense. The average American deserves to know that much. But she probably will avoid the Fox News debate. I hope she doesn't. But if she does, th th that's free advertising. It makes her look bad. It makes her look like a coward. Now, on top of the debates, I really think the Trump campaign should do more press conferences because Harris has done none of them. She doesn't take questions. And every time she does answer a question, it's indirectly through an advisor. It's, you know, he said, she said bullcrap. Not directly from Harris's mouth. It's, oh yeah, the advisor from, for Harris said this. Not Harris said this. I think the Trump campaign should do more of these press conferences, demand more debates, do a couple town halls, make Harris look as out of touch as possible. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.